Our hearts beat to the city streets We begin to feel the fire We rise like tall buildings As the chemicals they take Puts a hand in mine. We wanna chase the night, wanna dance to the light. Pulls stars from the sky, just two hearts running wild. Never sleep, never stop. Every shot from the top, we're gonna, we're gonna be two hearts running wild. This locomotive last ran for the Norfolk and Western Railroad in, in service in 1958. Okay. They donated it to the museum, and the museum uh, here, museum ran it for another 12 years until uh, 1970. In 1970, um, the, a, a suspension hanger broke, and they weren't able to fix it. And it's just been sitting here. Now every year we will move it up and down the track, but not under its own power. We've got a diesel that will push. So this is zero coal over here. Yes, and that is mm -hmm. not the original tender. And people call it the coal car, but railroaders call it the tender. Yeah. Um, yeah, the coal would be all there, but now if you go outside, you will see that this tender is a lot bigger than this space that you're looking at. And the reason is because the rest of the space is a water tank. Now, 
the mm -hmm. steam was only used, the water was only used once. You put it in the boiler, you turn the steam, it does its power, and then it gets yeah, sent out to the atmosphere. So uh, it went through a lot of water, a lot of coal. This this tender is not the original tender. This tender is exactly twice as big as the original one. Armin would sit there. His job was to make sure the fire was going. Mm -hmm. um, now everybody thinks that the fireman shoveled all the coal in, but this locomotive was too big for a guy to do that with a shovel. So they had a thing called a stoker. It was sometimes called the iron fireman. Yeah. And what it was, this plywood was not there. And there was a, a screw auger down there. They were just oh, you know, just put it in there. Yeah. yeah. And by the time the coal got moved through that screw auger, it got crumbled. You know, it was pretty small pieces. So inside there, if you look, there's a, a tray. You can see that thing right there. With, it looks like it has fingers on it. Oh yeah. That that the coal would come out onto that tray, and then there were steam jets that would push the coal to different parts of the firebox, and that way they could keep the fire spread out correctly. The firemen used those valves to send more coal, you know, coal this way or that way. They, those controlled his steam jets. The fireman also had to watch his water level. This is called the firebox, and the top of the box is called the crown sheet. And this line here says top of crown. That is the top of the crown. That that is the level of the top of the firebox. If you were to crawl in there, that's, that, where, that's where the roof is. And it was very, very important that water be kept above that. If water got below there, all the heat going in, all the heat from this fire would build up on that piece of steel and it didn't have any place to go. So uh -huh. the steel would get hotter and hotter and hotter until it failed. And once it failed, since it does have water in other areas, all of a sudden the pressure in the boiler would drop. And from a thermodynamic standpoint, if you, tap, if you have water and steam in an equilibrium, which is what that was here, and suddenly you drop the pressure, all that water has to expand the steam. So yeah. It changes by a thousand percent. And you'd have a boiler explosion. This would come back, kill everybody. The front would get blown out about a mile. In fact, I got a picture out here, so over here. Mm -hmm. um, which is about 40 miles south of here. Oh this, uh, you can see all the boiler tubes have been blown out. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, okay. those are all, the, the, the boiler is full of tubes to increase the heating surface area. They're found large, large chunks of the front end about a mile away. Uh, all three men were killed. In fact, I understand one of them was, uh, this was his last run before retiring. Oh, uh, wow. Uh, water level is very important. So they had two sight glasses that he could see the... You know, oh, okay, he, I was about, he, I was about to ask see, you, where did they yeah, see the would, water? Yeah. You would see the water level in there. You notice that they're all well above this. Um, and they had electric lights so they could see them at night. You know, they, this thing ran 20, you know, all time, hours of day and night. So they had electric lights on these. They also had these valves here, which today we might call them a safety system. So that's water levels. That's what the fireman did. He, he, he was responsible for the fire and for the water and for maintaining steam pressure. Meanwhile, the engineer would use that steam pressure to make the train go. This was his throttle. Uh, you'll see that shaft going in and out. That shaft actually goes to a valve, which is about halfway down the boiler. The boiler has a high point in it, a dome. Yeah. It's called the steam dome. And that's where all the steam accumulates. And up inside that dome, there's a pipe that sticks up with a flapper valve on it, a throttle. And this is what makes that flapper valve open and close. So if he wants more steam or less steam, that's how he does it. So it gives the, the pistons more or less power. 9,000. That means each of those pistons is being pushed back with 90,000, 90,000 pounds of force. Oh, jeez. Okay? That's 45 tons. How many pistons? Is it? Just two. Oh, just two? Side. Uh -huh. um, and they push and pull. I mean, you know, they, you put steam on this side and you have to vent it that side. But then, when it's back here, there's a valve on top that reapplies steam on this side and vents this. Also, both, so both, both actions both get that actions much pressure. Both actions get power, that's right. Oh. Yeah, that's a lot of... Uh, yeah, yeah. Neat stuff. You. What was your name? I'm Bill. Bill, thank you so much. Yeah, sure thing. I appreciate it.
ticket and enjoy your trip. Thank you. Right for the train ride. Y'all ready? Yeah. Awesome. 